Time is critical. Doctors have a short window in which to save precious brain cells during a stroke. It is a race against the clock. Time lost is brain lost. Once a patient is evaluated by the stroke team, a CAT scan will be done to obtain imagery of the brain that would reveal if a stroke did occur. During a stroke, a person is losing 2 million brain cells per minute. That's a lot of brain damage. We do everything we can to reverse that damage, and the sooner we can treat a person, even if it's a matter of minutes, makes a big difference. The drug Alteplase, uh, commonly called TPA, is a clot buster. It basically is given by vein and goes into the blood vessel and chews up the blood clot, allowing restoration of blood flow and trying to prevent and reverse any damage that has occurred. Here at Overlook Medical Center in Summit, New Jersey, the Stroke Center is making great strides in cutting down the amount of time it takes to treat a stroke patient who arrives at the ER. Inside the ambulance, groundbreaking telemedicine technology is making it all possible. Hi, Dr. Belt. You have a stroke for me? OK, I'll pick up right now. Um, can you tell me the story what happened to you? This is telestroke technology. It's a game changer for diagnosing stroke. When called to a stroke emergency, paramedics carry this portable device into the ambulance and immediately connect with a stroke neurologist who uses a laptop or an iPad to conduct a rapid evaluation before the patient arrives at the ER. Go up high. Go up to the upper quadrant. Let's have the patient follow your finger to the right. Good. Now go to the left. If we use the telestroke technology on the ambulance, as opposed to having the patient come to the emergency room, we're saving brain cells. One, two, three, four, five. You can put it down. Paramedics are the first line of defense in carrying out rapid treatment for a patient. What you're watching is a reenactment by Overlook Medical Center and its comprehensive stroke center team to help illustrate how telestroke technology would be used in a real life emergency. One of our physicians, our neurologist from our stroke program, is going to connect. He's going to ask you some questions so we can start assessing you before we get to the hospital. Hi, Dr. Bell. Uh, what's my paramedic's name? Uh, this is Dave. Dave, OK. Patient? Uh, what's the patient's name? This is Oliver, 45 year old male. Okay. And he is uh, having some left-sided weakness and numbness that started right around 6 o'clock while he was eating dinner with his wife. She witnessed it. History of hypertension and high cholesterol. He takes uh, Lipitor and he takes uh, Lisinopril. Okay, let's go through the exam. Okay, Dave, hands out front like this, please. Oliver, put your hands out. Up here. Turn them over, please. Thumbs up. P pick them up a little higher. And now, let's see. Let him go, Dave. Let's see where they Try go. Try to hold him there, Oliver. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, Oliver. OK, fine. You can let it go. OK, okay Oliver, put your hand down. Oliver, keep your eyes closed. Dave, I want you to touch one hand, then the other, simultaneous, and ask Oliver where he's being touched. OK. Oliver, where am I touching you right now? Which side? OK. How about now? Okay. How about now? My right side. Just on the right. Okay. Okay, so he's extinguishing the left, right, Dave? Correct. Only only filling on the right, not on the left. Okay. Uh, Dave, I want you to have Oliver lift up his left leg and hold it up off the stretcher. Okay. Can you lift up this okay, leg, bring right? it up for me. Try to hold it up. Okay. Can you hold it there? Count of five. Hold it there for One. five seconds. Sorry. Okay, let it go. How about the right leg? That up there. Keep it up there, Oliver. Five. Count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can put Good. it down. Okay, Oliver, I believe you're having a stroke involving the right brain. It's causing you to have left sided weakness. Dave, how far are you from the emergency room? Uh, about, about seven minutes right now. Okay, I'm going to call the ER, just let them know the story so we'll be all prepared for him when he arrives. Oliver will be doing a CAT scan when we get there, and we'll be talking about some medication to try to help you out, okay? Very good. I'll pick up on the ER. Okay, we'll see you there. 
So this is this is the emergency room in Chilton right now. They're their trauma center slash stroke unit. And again, we see the empty bed now, but this is what it will look like. In fact, this is what they're seeing. They're seeing us right now, Tam. So th this would be you. This and then is us. if that's a patient, you'd be able to to, zo to zoom in to exactly. the patient. Exactly. In fact, so I can zoom how, in like this. How does this. that work? Okay. I could zoom in real, real close if I want to. And then that's how you're able to yes. talk, to see the patient and... Very closely, I'm communicating with the nurse via our microphone uh, to do the exam. The other thing I can do here, I can show the patient images and ask them, what do you see here? Can you describe it to me? So the patient will I'll have an idea of what their language is like. I ask them to describe it and I can listen to their language abilities. Plus, if they're ignoring part of the picture, then I know they have a visual field defect as well. So this is a very important picture. And then I have other things. Can you name this object? How about this object? And I'll go through different objects naming. And then I'll ask them, can you read this for me? Their ability to read. Because patients with left-sided strokes will have difficulty in reading. So we have different reading tasks for them to do.